Hey, hey, it's Berta J. You're back in my kitchen with me today. Do you like carrot cake? Well, if you do, you're gonna like this recipe. It's not carrot cake, but it's a semblance of carrot cake. We're gonna make overnight oatmeal. And what you're gonna do, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get one cup of rolled oats. And to that, you will add a fourth of a cup of shredded carrots. After that, you're gonna put in one tablespoon of nuts. Now a carrot cake, a normal carrot cake, has pecans in it, but it could have walnuts. And so just to make it balanced, I put one tablespoon each of walnuts and pecans. Now, as long as you put in two tablespoons of nuts, you're fine. You can even use your favorite nut. After the walnuts are put in the bowl, then you're gonna put in two tablespoons of raisins, along with 20 scrapes of your nutmeg and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. So you're gonna stir those dry ingredients up. And once those are nicely stirred, you're gonna then measure out one and three fourths cup of plant milk. I used my own homemade almond milk, which is another video. To that, I added two tablespoons of maple syrup. Now, you can play around with that taste. It's sweet enough for me, might be too sweet for you or not, but two tablespoons is what I used. And after the two tablespoons of maple syrup, you're gonna use three-fourths of a teaspoon of vanilla. Stir that up in your cup measure and measuring cup, and then pour that into the dry mix with the oatmeal and the carrots. Stir it until it's all blended very nicely. And then you're gonna place that into the refrigerator with a top on it or some saran wrap or plastic wrap, and then let that sit for overnight. And when you're done, this is what you'll have. I put it in a bowl so you could see it. This is cold, right from the refrigerator the next day. And this, I warmed up so you could see it. And I like my oatmeal warm, so it only takes, when it comes out of the refrigerator and you warm it, it only takes, I don't know, about a minute and a half, two minutes to warm it up. This is gonna be cold, it's milky, but it tastes really delicious. And I believe it will remind you of carrot cake, okay? So, you've got overnight oatmeal carrot cake, which is delicious. So I hope you'll try it. it. Shouldn't take you very long. And it's a good breakfast for you to have, or you could also use it, leave it in the refrigerator, put a little, make a little dessert bowl for yourself, like maybe after your, your dinner, you could have some carrot cake oatmeal because it's a little sweet and it is very tasty. So that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on the notification bell so that every time a video is uploaded, you will be able to get it. And also, don't forget to leave some comments for me below if you try this out. I would love to hear from you. And again, for all my new viewers, I appreciate all viewers and subscribers. I really appreciate you guys because without you, it's, I don't have anybody to look at all the things that I'm doing here in my kitchen. So thank you so, so, so very much. Okay, and until next time, enjoy your oatmeal. Bye for now.